Hey everyone, this is Sean from Gen4 Technology, and today I'm going to be giving you a quick walkthrough on how to set up your NAT feature. This feature is specifically used for remote viewing purposes and is a very quick alternative to setting up port forwarding. So let's go ahead and start off with part one, in which we will walk you through how to enable the NAT feature on your Flux device. First step in doing so will be to open up the main menu and select the option labeled settings. Once within the settings, you're going to select the option labeled network. Within the network section, go ahead and select the tab at the top of the page labeled NAT. Within the NAT section, we're going to go ahead and check in the box next to enable and then select apply to save. This leads us to part two of the video in which we're going to give you a quick rundown on how you can use the NAT feature to add your Flux device to the G4-FLX-VMS phone application. So let's go ahead and open up the G4-FLX-VMS phone application. Once within the application, we're going to go ahead and select the menu icon. Within the menu, go ahead and select the option labeled server list. Within the serverless section, we're going to select the plus icon to add our device. Being as we are using the NAT feature, we are going to go ahead and select the scan icon. The scan option will allow us to scan the QR code off our Flux device. If the scan is successful, this will bring us to the add device page. Here you can input the username and password of your Flux device, then select save to view your device's live view. Wait for the Wi-Fi icon to turn green, and then select the play icon to review your live video feed. Thanks for watching, and make sure to subscribe, like, and comment with any videos you'd like to see in the future. Take it easy, and see you next time.